Hey guys, it's Carol. Hey guys, this is Carol. And I'm just coming back today. I wanted to talk about some hair that I had a really long time ago. This was um hair from AR Virgin Hair. And it was their um the Indian curly hair. And I don't know if it's just me, but have you ever like watched a hair company and you watch them and watch them and watch them and the prices are kind of expensive a little bit so you just wait and wait and when they have a sale like you jump on it and you go get this hair that you've been watching for like forever and then it just doesn't live up to the hype. That you just, I mean, you see pictures all on the Instagram and everybody is sending in pictures saying, oh, it doesn't shed and oh, I love this hair and this hair is so good. And then when you get it, like it's nothing like how other people say the hair it is, hair is. Well, that was my experience with this hair. Um, I used this hair one time. Uh, I never did anything else with it. I wore it for about two and a half months, almost three. And then I took it off and I um, like put it in a plastic bag, like a little Meyer bag or something. And I just put it in the closet because I was so disappointed in the hair. Like the hair definitely did not live up to my expectations. So when I got the hair, I had a, um, I got a closure. So this is the closure, just like, you know, your standard closure. And this was before I knew anything about like bleaching the closures or whatever. So I didn't even, I didn't even bleach the, um, the closure ever. So this is the closure. This is the um, Indian Curly Closure. And then I had an um, 18, a 20, and a 22. So when I got my hair done, I asked my stylist not to cut my wefts, and she didn't. But she did have to cut the 16 because she couldn't fit all the hair in. So the 16 was cut. Um, but this is the, uh, not 16, the 18. So the 18 was cut. Um, so I still had some hair left over. And I actually will show you guys, I, I still have some hair like unused. So I can show you kind of like what the hair look like versus what it looks like now. Um, and this was the 20 inch and then this was a 22. So I decided like, well, I'm like, I got this hair. I spent, I spent good money on this hair and I wanted to make a wig out of it. So I tried to re revive this hair using this silicone mix, right? So everybody talks about silicone mix and it's supposed to be so good and everything. So I tried to revive it with this. Um, actually, it looked worse than this. So it did help a little bit, but it's still like, to me, it's just not usable. So um, I got this, this new, um, I've never even purchased um, an Aussie product ever. So this was um, the Aussie um, Mega Moist. Um, oh god, look at this. <laughs> Sorry guys. Aussie um mega moist uh shampoo and conditioner. And that's what I used on my uh my mink Brazilian hair that I had and I also used it on my We Rock Brazilian hair and it it looks I mean, like the hair looks really good when I when I'm done with it or whatever. So, so I'm gonna try that and see if that may help. Especially this closure. I mean, the hair on this closure, y'all. I mean, I, I'm so disappointed. Uh, I still can't believe I spent all this money on this hair. Like, and I never got to use it again. It just looks like a nappy, matted mess. Definitely doesn't look like, you know, the money that, um, doesn't look worth the money that I spent. So, yeah. So, um... I'm going to try and wash it and see if I can revive this hair and get it to look like something so I can actually make a wig out of it and use it again. And I will show you guys um, the hair, um, you know, the hair that I never even used that never touched my head. So I'll show you guys that hair too. All right, so this is how the hair looked like when I got it. And it was all like shiny and curly and everything. <laughs> This is the only piece I could find. Like I had some more hair left, but I just cannot find the the um the rest of the hair. Well, this is like this is what the hair looked like when I got it. Like look at this. It was all like it's been like in a bag, so that's why the curls look all crazy. But <laughs> this is what it looked like. It was like shiny and nice looking and everything. And then it kind of got like this. I don't know. I don't like it. Um, so 
I'm about to try one one last time. I'm going to wash it with my new shampoo and conditioner here and see if I can get it to look like something so I can actually use it. So I'll be back once I'm done washing and, and we'll see what happens. Three hours later. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. So I, um, I washed the hair in my um, Aussie um, shampoo and conditioner. And um, when I conditioned it, I actually, um, I put the conditioner on and then I also put this on the hair while it was wet. This is Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Morocco Oil Treatment, okay? I put that on the hair as well. And then I put the hair in a plastic bag and I just set it like in front of the heat because it's cold here in Detroit, so heat's on. So I just sat it there and actually I left it there for a long time because I was watching Supernatural <laughs> on Netflix. So um, it actually sat there for about a good three, four hours maybe. So I finally um, got up and I rinsed it out. And then um, after I rinsed it out, um, I put this on it again. So after I rinsed it, um, you know, and dried it out and everything, then I, you know, take like a little bit of this rub it on my hands and then rubbed it on you know the hair so this is the frontal guy how do i keep saying frontal <laughs> this is the closure i think because i want a frontal i want a frontal really bad guys so okay so this is the um the closure like look at how the closure looks now <laughs> looks way better than it looked before like i think i found I think I found my secret weapon for my virgin hair, guys. Like, look at this. I don't know, though. I mean, the true test is, of course, when it's dry. I'm going to see what it looks like when it's dry. But right now, guys, this hair looks, it looks good. Now, mind you, it still sheds. It shed like a dog when I was washing it. Um, even the closure shed it but it didn't shed as much as the bundles did like this hair is still was shedding as i washed it and everything and when i rinsed it out i got some um uh, some strands up here too but i'm not really uh, um i'm not one of those people who like well if my hair is shedding then like i won't wear it like i'm not one of those type of people so i can deal with shedding because my real hair actually sheds a lot so it's nothing new so yeah so look at this hair guys and again like this was that little piece of hair i had um you know so of course it's not gonna look exactly like this anymore once you wash it but i mean i it still was just it was looking so dry before but now it's looking pretty good so i'll come back and um i'm gonna let them air dry i'm gonna let everything air dry and then i will show you you know what everything looks like once it's dry and hopefully it still looks good and if so then i'll make a wig out of it all right so i'll um i'll be back in a, probably tomorrow because i'm about to go to bed <laughs> hey guys okay i'm back so it's morning time the hair has dried and it's still looking pretty good <laughs> it's looking way better than what it looked before so i think i'm going to try and locate the rest of my hair and the unused hair and I'm going to go ahead and, and just make a wig out of it so I'm going to go ahead and bleach um, the knots on this closure might as well I wasn't going to waste my time doing it if the hair wasn't going to you know look like something worth even sewing onto a cap so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try it out it looks pretty good it looks pretty good. It looked way better than it looked before. Look before. The closure still has some matted spots, but um, I'll see if I can like, like right here, like it looks like a dread. <laughs> but overall, I'm very pleased. So that um, Aussie uh, shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> And that um, Garnier Fructi Moroccan Oil Treatment. Y'all, it done breathed some new life back into this hair. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead on and uh, make me another wig. See, that's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm on right now. It's just 
reusing the hair that I spent all that money on that I just threw in the closet and turn it into a wig. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm broke out here. I'm balling on a budget. You understand? So yes. Yes. When I see an opportunity where I can, you know, save some money so I can have like a different hairstyle. One, I don't have to pay anybody to sew it in because I'm making a wig. I do it myself. You know, and I can save some money and save up for my Andy Boo because that's what I'm really trying to get. That Andy Boo raw Indian natural wavy. That's what I'm working on, guys. I got to get another bundle in the closure. So I got to save my little coins up, you know. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and make a wig and then I'll just post the um like some pictures of it uh, at the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. And um, definitely try out that Aussie uh, shampoo and conditioner, guys. Like, seriously. It, um, and that Garnier Fructis um, Moroccan oil treatment, if you don't already use that. It, it um, breathes a new life into that hair. It don't look dry. It looks good, guys. Look at it. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.